what's going on, man? It's your boy, Kirk Cloth, and I'm back with another video, man. Look, if I'm not starting to swear, I'm not going nowhere. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video as simple and concise as possible, but y'all know me, man. I get to rambling, I get to yammer yammering, and something happens. But I started watching this TV show called The Wire. Now, The Wire is a TV show that's not new at all. It came out in the early 2000s, but this show, without a doubt, has moved into my top three, and I'm putting it with, like, Breaking Bad, um, I love Dexter, and now it's The Wire, bro. That's how good this show is. And now that I've completed the entire series, I'm trying to figure out why I haven't watched the show ever. And I've always seen like the references online, Omar coming, or like I've seen things such as like Stringer Bell online, and people memeing. That's not how the game is played. You can't do that. Where y'all put the guns? And I just never understood where these came from. But now that I've watched this show, I understand why people give The Wire the notoriety. The notoriety? Words are hard. I understand why people love it so much because it's such a well-written show. Just from like all the character development, just from like the things happening, all the plays moving around and like all the connections. Like it's just such a well written show and i definitely recommend it if you have not watched the wire you definitely are in for a ride i recommend it highly but a review of the wire is not why you're here as i'm watching this show i'm just taking note of just like again it's in the early 2000s so everything is kind of it's like a snapshot of what was happening during that time from the music to the attire to like you know just pop culture all that like it's just a snapshot of what was happening in the early 2000s and I'm watching the show and I'm looking at what these people are wearing from like the sweatsuits to like, you know, the denim, the jerseys and all that. And it's kind of in resemblance on what's trending today in streetwear. Or like the thing that I'm talking about is like the baggy aesthetic. Like basically everyone in the show besides the cops, even though they kind of wear loose fitting clothes, but like that was just what was in back then. Like loose fitting was like what was in. It wasn't like really as modern as it is today, you know, slim fit, you know, more tighter cuts of the shirts. Like the suits and the streetwear attire were kind of in the same realm of just like baggy or straight cut. And I'm sitting here watching the show and I'm like, they'll go to different characters, different like areas in Baltimore because that's where this like show takes place. And I'm like, wait, that's actually a fit. Like, and I'll see Stringer Bell wear like a sweatsuit. I'm like, wait, that sweatsuit kind of go crazy. Like, or like I see somebody rocking a jersey with a long sleeve on, they got the bandana on, they have the Tims, and like y'all know, Tims is like super trending right now. And I'm just like, I swear I've seen this outfit on my Explore page. And like the main thing that I really wanna get across with this video is that it's just so interesting how the overall perception of baggy clothes um, has kind of become destigmatized. You know, in the show and just like me personally growing up, like there was a stigma on people who wore baggy clothes. Um, you have the stigma that, you know, you're a corner boy, you sell drugs, you're up to no good. You know, wherever things fall in line, other synonyms that fall in line with that, like there was just such a negative stigma on people who wore baggy clothes. I am fed up with the way he goes to school every day from his head to his toe. Baseball cap. Hate it. Just found out two weeks ago. Chronic marijuana, hate it, gotta go. T-shirt, too big. Rolling dice, not my chosen role model. Pants, two sides too big, shorts showing, can't stand it. Gym shoes, big, dirty, all he wears. I'm tired of this look. And in the show, it's very represented. Like, this is how they, you know, look at someone and be able to say, oh, you fit the description. This is how they're able to, you know, round up a bunch of people because you're just, you have the attire on that we kind of represent for somebody who's a corner boy or somebody that's selling drugs. And I'm like, it's so interesting seeing how that stigma of like baggy clothes, you know, sagging and, you know, things that are very, you know, in the know are very apparent and like within the black community. It's interesting to see how that stigma of the baggy aesthetic has now become destigmatized where you have companies like Balenciaga who are making baggy denim and taking it a step 
further and also making baggy denim with underwear type uh, material attached to it to give the illusion of sagging your pants. Like, I don't think it's, I think that's the clearest example of how the baggy aesthetic, baggy clothes have become destigmatized. Like this is a company who conducts runways. This is a company that is very well known for reaching like the celebrities of all celebrities, like your favorite celebrity, celebrity wears Balenciaga. So it's just, it's just so wild to me. Like, I think you would have to just grow up in my area to really understand why this is so wild to me. Or if you grew up in an area, you know, in the early 2000s where, you know, people were rocking baggy clothes, um, baggy hoodies, bag like just everything was baggy and bigger just in general. And it's like, you would have to understand and grow up in an area where that was like the norm to now see where it is now. We're like, you know, every company, whether it be a fashion house or whether it be down on like the streetwear level, like everyone is taken upon and inviting baggy clothes and it's not really like a black or white thing again i think it's just because like i grew up in an area that was predominantly black i am black so like i have the experience of people who were around me that were wearing baggy clothes and you know they were given a negative um perception just because of like the clothes that they wore but now those same clothes that people used to either get criminalized for or have a negative stigma towards like now that's high in fashion like when i see that in public and I see someone wearing a baggy fit, I'm not thinking like, oh, somebody's about to rob me. I'm not thinking somebody's about to, um, you know, do anything to me, No, like no harm done. I see a baggy outfit in public and I'm just like, oh, that's a fit. Like I can see myself rocking that. I might ask him where he got his jeans from or I might ask him where he got his jacket from. But like, had you asked me the same question or had this been like 10 or 15 years ago, if I'm walking down the street and I see somebody wearing some baggy jeans, some J's and a baggy jacket, I might have crossed the street just to avoid confrontation, just because that stigma was in play. Like it wasn't like what it is now. Like that stigma was heavy in play. It's just from like things that my mom taught me about, you know, don't sag your pants. You don't want to look like a thug or like don't do X, Y, and Z because like it has this negative connotation to it. But now again, like it just, I don't know, like really this is just a video where like I saw that watching this show and I was just so blown back because I'm like, I've seen this outfit on my explore page. I've seen this outfit in public. And like, there's no like avoidance. There's no like negative outlook. It's just like, that's fashion now. And I don't know, like it just, it just, it was like so captivating when I kind of made the connection because like sometimes when you watch a TV show, you kind of forget that like, it's not in the current. And I was watching this and I'm just like, I was just enjoying it. And then like, it got to a point where I'm like, Hold on, this is not in 2024. This is like early 2000, like 2005, 2006. Like this is, is I don't know, it was just interesting. Like I, I'm, I don't ever have my full thoughts on it. I was just excited when I made the connection. And I was just like, this is interesting. This is interesting to me. Like it's destigmatized. Like that's, as soon as I saw it and I saw what was happening in like fashion and streetwear currently, whether it be a fashion house like Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, you know, and other companies like you know, Alf White, Stussy and all this, like, this is current fashion. And this is like, what's currently trending. And like, you know, we have individuals living in suburban areas. We have people who have never even crossed into like a low income area who are wearing, you know, denim that has underwear attached to it to give the perception of sagging. So I don't know, like, it really wasn't, like, this wasn't like a video that I thought on for a long time. I kind of was watching the show and as it came to an end, I was just like, I need to make a video about this because like, I literally have lived through the destigmatization of, I don't even know if that's a word, but I've literally lived through the destigmatization of baggy clothes. And I wouldn't say it's completely gone. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but there's definitely a difference for how people perceive you wearing baggy clothes now versus what it was like 15, 20 years ago. Like it's, it's, it's a clear difference. It's like, it's night and day. But I wanna know what y'all think. Is baggy clothes destigmatized? I don't ever know if like anybody else is gonna have this opinion or this thought, but I literally had to make this video just because like I was like, wow, like I think I might be the only person talking about this. <laughs> but then I also may not be just because YouTube's big. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about the baggy aesthetic? Are you playing into it? Are you not playing into it? Or do you think it still has a negative connotation? Or do you think that line is kind of blurred now? I really wanna know what other people are thinking about this. Again, this is something that just came to me 
didn't really give it too much thought and I just wanted to make a video just to see what other people are thinking on this topic. But without further ado, like I always do, I'll catch you in the next one. But I love, I love the way you work it. Hey, I love the way you work it for.